Hola chicos de Lightspeed English. Hello. Estamos de vuelta con un vídeo después de bastante tiempo porque hemos estado muy ocupados con Lightspeed Spanish. Y, and with our children. y con los niños, por supuesto, y la vida en general. Pero hemos hecho un vídeo ahora mismo para Lightspeed Spanish y hemos dicho, Gordon y yo, esto vale perfectamente para Lightspeed English. Mm. Porque hemos hablado de los falsos cognados, amigos falsos, etc. Tiene varias terminaciones, varios nombres, que es que hay una palabra en inglés y en español que son muy similares uh -huh. entre ellas, pero significan cosas totalmente distintas. ¿Vale? Entonces, eh, os pasamos el, el vídeo aquí. Eh, este vídeo es para intermedio, para nivel intermedio, ¿sí? También, si eres un beginner, lo puedes ver. Y, por supuesto, si eres avanzado, también, ¿sí? Mm. Así que aquí tenéis el vídeo que hemos grabado. Vale, Cintia. Al tema. Al tema. Ok, so, false friends. What are false friends? Well, apart from the ones that Cynthia mentioned, <laughs> which is something else, false friends in Spanish are the words that sound like an English word, but actually don't mean the same. Yeah. yeah? You can recognize these better than the ones in, in life, yeah? <laughs> exactly. Sometimes you've got to marry one to know what they're like. True story. So, I hope he's not talking about me. I'm not talking about <laughs> Cynthia. By the way, for those who are wondering, <laughs> Cynthia and I, yes, we are married and we've been married now for the last 11 years. Yeah. But we've been together for 19 years. Well, okay. married for 10, but yes. I get the... I get the oh, 10 years, yeah. 10 years. I beg your pardon, yeah. It felt, it felt like 11. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It does seem like a day too long. So... Vale. Okay, so... These are the words that look like we know what they mean, but they don't. Mm. So we've got a, a big list of them, okay? So you choose the ones that, that stand out to you, Cynthia, and I'll choose the ones I like okay. as well. First one I'll say, which I don't know if it's on the list, is to um, assume. Mm -hmm. Because we have asumir, and you have to assume, don't you? And they don't mean the same. Mm. Asumir in Spanish is aceptar. Okay, to accept something. Asumirlo. Mm -hmm. Okay, like asumir las consecuencias o asumir que algo ahora es así. So you have to um, accept the consequences. So in English, to assume would be what verb? In English, so in English, to, well, in Spanish. In Spanish, I should say, yeah, uh, yeah. In Spanish, to assume would be suponer. Mm -hmm. Also dar por sentado o dar por hecho, hecho. Mm -hmm. but also it depends on the context because you can assume uh, a position uh -huh. so that would be adoptar o adquirir mm -hmm. yeah? to acquire mm -hmm. or adopt yeah. Um, yeah. ¿vale? entonces so it depends on the context but mm -hmm. if we're thinking about ideas concepts assume something that something is going to happen or something would be dar por sentado, dar por hecho, o suponer. Mm -hmm. So, the one that I would like to bring up, because it's a double-edged sword, is the verb asistir, okay? Which looks like to assist or to help. But asistir actually means to attend. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, and it goes with a. So you say, asisto a una clase de español. So, I attend a Spanish class, yeah? But then we've got the verb atender, right? Which looks like to attend, and it's not. It's to assist. <laughs> so, so atender a una persona is to assist somebody or to help somebody. Yeah. So they're actually the exact opposites to what we would what we would think. Yeah? So you've got to be careful. Um, another one I want to mention, and this one I especially want to mention because because of the influence of English. Many Spanish-speaking countries, including Spain now, is think, uh, think that they're using the word bizarre, which means strange, yeah? Mm -hmm. We are copying it because we have the word in Spanish, we have the word biz bizarro. bizarro. Bizarro, yeah? Mm -hmm. So exactly the same, but with an O. 
But bizarro in Spanish it means brave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Una persona bizarra es una persona valiente. It's good. Okay. Dashing, brave, and gallant. Okay, well, dashing as well. But brave, that's how I know mm -hmm. it. So it has nothing to do with bizarre, extraño. But all of a sudden, people think that this word is like a, a cult. Can you say cult word? Like a posher word yeah. oh, for okay. strange. Oh, right, yeah, posher, yeah, yeah. A posh word for strange. So lots of people are using now bizarro meaning strange and I'm talking about Spanish speaking people mm. but it is incorrect okay bizarro is brave mm. bizarre extraño or raro for okay. example and so the next one I'd like to uh, highlight is the word codo so an English person might look at that and think oh that would be code then yeah the code for the the look or whatever but codo is elbow Okay. Codo, un codo, sí. Yeah, and I used to say, remember, imagine you've got a cod on your elbow, codo, okay? So code is código, código, and not codo. Yeah? Codo, claro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hablar por los codos. Mm -hmm. We talk through our elbows, and that's yeah. somebody that talks a lot. And Hablar you know, por los codos. And do you know where that comes from? Where? You know why they say that? No. You know when people go out? Blah, 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 blah. So it's covering the ears and speaking through the elbows. All right. Mm. Okay. Didn't know that. Mm. There you are. Well, um, apparently. Apparently. Okay. This one is a good one. Constipado. And this <laughs> one is a good one because I remember telling Gordon um, early on that I couldn't speak very well. No podía hablar bien. Porque... Estaba constipada. Okay. Little did I know that constipada, what he understood was constipated. At the time, I didn't know that constipado <laughs> was, was having a cold. Yes. Yeah? Nor did I know that constipado was something else than constipado or constipada in Spanish. That was the sec <laughs> second day I met Cynthia and I, I thought, we didn't have TMI those days. I, used to, I just thought, ooh, that's a bit forward, isn't it? <laughs> Just so you know, <laughs> I am constipated. Mm -hmm. But constipada, estar constipado o constipada, because I'm, I'm a woman, uh, it means to to have, to be fluy or to, how would you say that? Yeah, to be, have a cold. Yeah, to have to a be cold. cold a yeah, to have a cold. Under the weather. Yeah, to have a cold. So then you have constipated, which for us is estreñido. Estreñido. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with... Constipada. <laughs> exactly, exactly, which I, I learned very quickly. I learned that day, I think, when I, I didn't, I don't think I actually asked you, really? No, I think it came came up, like, later on, later yeah. on, and yeah. I was like, so you thought all this time that I was, I told you mm -hmm. that I was constipated, mm -hmm. and you never said anything? No, well, why would I? I don't know, you like, know, like, okay, would you like yeah. some sort of laxative? Here's a or pencil, <laughs> you can work it out. A pencil? <laughs> Why a pencil? It's a joke. You hear about the math mathematician that was constipated. He worked it out with a pencil. I worked it out with a pencil. Okay, so... Here we go, the English jokes with the, double uh, meaning. Ha, 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 it's English. <laughs> double English meaning. <laughs> so, uh, this one is interesting. Um, estimado. Okay? Estimado. So, f looks like it could be an estimate. An estimate? or Estimado. A, 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 yeah? Mm -hmm. But it, not in, in Spanish. It means esteemed. So you'll see it in letters, yeah? yeah. Estimado señor or whatever. Estimado cliente. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it means esteemed. Uh -huh. It doesn't mean an estimate. And an estimate e is... Una estimación. Estimación? Yeah. What about um, presupuesto? Oh, yeah, if you're talking about like a budget. Like a budget, an estimate, yeah, that, a, for a some work that they're going to do, it'll be a presupuesto. Yeah, yeah presupuesto. Uh -huh. That's true. Uh -huh. But in my head, that's like a budget instead of... Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. I mean, it, it'd be the same thing, I guess, mm -hmm. but in my head it's like, budget. You know when you've got sure. a word with another word? It's just because <laughs> we, when we say an estimate, the, you always use presupuesto in that context. Okay. Where, you know, when we say, can you give me an estimate? Yeah. Okay. Un presupuesto. Muy bien. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, we have... Uh, well, we have actual, and also I like the uh, casualidad. Because <laughs> I remember when I was learning English with the word casualty. Oh, yeah. I thought it meant 
Casual or something like that. <laughs> Not, casual. Nothing to do with that. <laughs> a casual person. Like a casual death. No, something <laughs> like that. No, a casualty. But I'm going to go for actual. Because mm-hmm. we have actual, actual. Yeah. Okay? Actual, actual. Uh, and actual, algo actual is something current. Something is happening nowadays. Algo actual. Like also we have actualizarse. Mm-hmm. Which is to be up to date, up to speed with things, actualizarse. Yeah. Or like the computer, está, se está actualizando. Mm-hmm. Which is, what does it... What updating. It, updating, there you are. And the, one of the biggest errors I hear with that is when we, uh, students are talking and we say, actualmente, thinking we mean actually, and it's not. It's like saying right now... Actualmente is uh, nowadays. Yeah. Actualmente is nowadays. At this moment. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Lately. So, yeah. actual, actualizando, actualizarse, mm-hmm. is to, I don't know, freshen up or, as in, put yourself up to speed with... Exactly, um, yeah, get up to date. Mm-hmm. Sí, um, and then actual, exactly, actual in English, mm-hmm. um, but it says actual, real, efectivo, an actual, this is an actual, ah, okay, when you say this is an actual... This it's is an, an actual, actual phone. Actual car, yeah. Es yeah. real, yeah. Sí, de verdad. Say, you want to say, es un coche de, de verdad. verdad. De verdad, de verdad. an actual mm-hmm. car, sí. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, well, I, I'm going to choose éxito. Oh, I think that's an easy one. I think they know this one, éxito. Oh, for sure, yeah. But on first blush, first glance, you think that must be an exit. Yes. Yeah? And of course, éxito is success. And an exit is una salida. Yeah, from the verb salir, to go out. Salir, una yeah. salida, exit. Yeah. Sí. But to, to be successful is tener éxito. Sí. Mm. O ser exitoso. Ser exitoso. Sí. Mm. To be successful. Mm-hmm. Muy bien, do we have time for any more or are we, are we done? I think you, it, you do the one more. Because then I would go for the casualidad that I mentioned before okay, that I yeah. thought you were going to cover. So, una casualidad. ¿Qué casualidad? So that's what you consider. ¿Qué casualidad? Oye. Qué casualidad, what a coincidence. Yeah, mm-hmm. coincidence, coincidence, una casualidad. Yeah. Sí, which has nothing to do with casualty. <laughs> y casualty, what would that and also be? We, but we also we have the word casual. Casual, which is like... Casual. Ca- do, do you have, uh, would it be casual as well? Uh, uh, yeah, uh-huh. casual, yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. so, but then we have, well, you have casualty. Casualty. Which is una víctima. Víctima, like victim, yeah? yeah. Víctima. So nothing to do with casualidad. Casualidad. <laughs> Qué casualidad. Sí. Unless you say he was a victim mm-hmm. by chance. Mm-hmm. It was a casualty. I think that maybe that's where it comes casualidad. from. It's, it happened by accident, by chance. Uh, maybe. You know, I think that's maybe maybe it's it got the same from. kind of root mm-hmm. somehow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, the, por casualidad, by chance, he suffered. No? Mm-hmm. Una víctima. And so to finish, I'm going to finish with a little expression I learned a long time ago and I loved it. And it had to do with being exitoso mm-hmm. and it was something like this if I can remember it para ser exitoso no tienes que hacer cosas extraordinarias solamente tienes que hacer cosas ordinarias extraordinariamente bien oh muy mm. bueno mm. me gusta sí. can you translate for us yeah to be successful you don't have to do extraordinary things you just have to do ordinary things extraordinarily well muy bien, mm. muy bien. Me mm. gusta. Sí. Me gusta esa frase. Sí, sí, a mí también. Mm. Sí. Pues chicos, espero que os haya gustado. Así que, have fun. We'll see you in the next one. Adiós. Bye.